Well, hello, this is Val. This is how you do it. And um, I'm going to put my makeup on. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some concealer on my face. I'm going to um, take this little, let's see, mm, this little brush here. And I have my concealer pack. And I'm going to take some concealer and put it on my face. Let's see, no, that's too much light. Let me push it back some. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some concealer over my eyebrows and brush that back some. Go ahead on and shake them while I'm here. I'll try to make this quick. What you do is you uh, pull back on it away from the eyebrow to blend it. That's all I'm going to do right there. You can even use your finger if you want to. See? And I'm a little damp because I just got out of the shower. I just did a wash and go with the Tresemme Naturals Conditioner. I wash twice with warm water to open the pores of the hair and once with cold water to close the pores. And once I finish my makeup, I'm going to uh, style my hair with some uh, Eco Styler Gel. But once I close the uh, pores of the hair, I did use some uh, olive oil, put it all over my hands to seal in the moisture. So let's wash twice with warm water, open the pores, once with cold water, close the pores, and uh, olive oil all over the hands to seal in the moisture. And now I'm applying my makeup before I do my hair. This will be a separate video from my wash and go. Because of the time, I'm not going to do them all together. Even though my wash and goes, when I apply the, the Eco Styler Gel, I run about um, three to five minutes. If it goes any longer, it's because I'm talking. But that three to five minutes on a long makeup video is just too long. I'm putting some conceal on my lips also. I'm going to put a little bit right here. Right in that area. See, I have a uh, a red thing going on with my face because I just got out of sh the shower. I'm a little flushed. But right now, I think I'm going to stop using the concealer. And go on to the next step. Which is the, uh, the foundation. Not the foundation, but the... Uh, I make up and I'm still dripping from my shower so that's what I'll be rubbing on while I'm, while I'm doing this I'm gonna use this black to uh, put some definition in my eyebrows
This is my makeup palette. I'm going to put this on the bottom of my eye. Yeah. I'll take this bottom piece, put it in the corners. Just over the lid, under the eye, and fill in the middle. That's the way I do mine. Or it can be under the lid, under the eye, over the lid. And fill in the middle. Okay. That's how I wing out my eye. These are different colors, but because they're so close together, it looks like the same color. And fill in this part over here. Fill in this. Then go up to this this pinkish part right here. To go right over that crease. Close that up. To finish it off, the lightest color is a pink. I'm going right across underneath the eyebrow. And then I'll be finished with that. That's the finish eye. Now that's the finish eye. And I'm going to take the, um, I'm looking for my eyeliner now. I thought I had everything sitting out. I guess I did. Here it is. Go under the eye. What I'm doing now, I'm going under the eye and the waterline at the same time. And I'm winging it out once I come out. See it? That's giving me a smaller eye because I did it all with black. You do it with white in the waterline, it makes the eye look bigger. I'm going to close up the eye even more by making this over my lid wide. See it? Then I'm going to close that wing in. And I'm also making it wide so when I set the eyelash on top of it, you won't see the difference between the eyelash and the eyeliner. And try to do it so you can see it. I'll go up under the eye. Bring it out. 
on the waterline. Close it up. While I'm sitting waiting on that to dry just a tad, I already have some found uh, found um, concealer on my lips, but I'm gonna put this color on there. So when I drink coffee or something of that nature, and if the lipstick come off, it'll have this as a base. Let that dry. This is clean, so it's never been used. I'm doing is cleaning that up a little bit. Because of the water, it's causing it to help drip and plus the moisture will die. See how that clean that up? I don't know if you can see it. I could use a cotton ball, but you know how cotton balls have those little flyaways on it. I'm going to use this lipstick. It's a pink. What I'm going to do now is put my eyelashes on. And that'll be the end of this process. I got this little bitty glue here that I got with a different pack of eyelashes. And I'm going to put these on. And the way you take this off is push down. Push down on it, and the eyelashes will release. And you can pick up on it without uh, pulling on it too much. See how it's coming apart. And now, just pick it up. Take the glue. Make a bubble. See it? Go right underneath the eyelash. Not on the outside tip, but let me put it in the other hand. Not on the outside tip of it like that, but underneath it. And that helps it uh, stay on the eye better. And because of the way this is turned, and I pull this one off first, you put it on this eye. And plus the smallest goes on the inside. Wait a minute, I want to put some mascara on my eyes to help it lean against that. It make, helps me put it on easier. So when I put the lash on, I can see my lashes without gluing my lashes down. And plus, the false eyelashes, I have something to lean against once I release it. And it won't fall off my eye onto my face. Now let's try it again. And plus that gives this a time to uh, get a little sticky.
and it does dry clear. That's on. Now we can go to the next eyelash. That kind of gave a little, little flexibility when you do it that way. Yeah. And to look at it, I look kind of over made up, don't I? My eyes look too dark. But once the hair get done, it all comes together. So that that has to dry. And it takes me about 20 minutes most of the times to do my uh, do everything and I'm gonna cut this off and turn it back on and do my hair see and you'll see the world of difference when it's all put together talk to you later bye bye